Right, this is a custom 32 inch Star Wars bar top cabinet. Um, the customer's requested is just to go quickly through the menus and systems and stuff and the controls. So I have done a couple of videos, the batteries keep going exhausted so I've got to properly charge them. So I'm going to try and make this very, very, very quick. Right, so when you load up the system, when you load up the unit, um, let's zoom out a little. You you want to use select to select the system, and then that's to go back. The B button, I call it. So the second button's your back. Your first button select. You can hold left or right on the arcade sticks, and then go left or right through the letters of the name of the game you wish to search for. Um, so, let's just go to B. Um, go up and down the menus. And then select the system, the game you wish. When the game loads up, if it's a main game, you can press these two buttons here. If you want to wish to configure the buttons how you wish, you can go to input this machine and go through the settings in corresponding to each system, each controller you can set to whatever button mapping you wish. Um, they're already set up, so you shouldn't need to remap any buttons unless you want a certain configuration just for the main games so escape out is the left pinball button and then let's go back for the xbox 360 controllers the systems with analog um, controls like playstation 1 n64 dreamcast and um, all use the xbox 360 controller that's because some of the games are um, configured for say a left analog stick or extra buttons something you can't emulate with the controllers the arcade sticks very well um, I can configure them but then they'll only work properly with really the fighting games on them systems and um, that's why we'll have the Xbox 360 controllers set up so if we go down through the menus and then head to um, Sega Genesis and then load Street Fighter mm -hmm. for pinball FX as well 2 and 3 that pinball button there is your exit um, because we need the left pinball flipper for the pinball game so that button there is to exit for the future pinball games the second button is exit as we use that button to add a coin so let's start again quickly go into versus select the character This is a full video I've done. I don't want to keep doing another video. Um, it just keeps messing up. Or I've got to bloody recharge the batteries. So, light kick, medium kick, hard kick, light punch, medium punch, hard punch. Player two is exactly the same. So if we exit that system, move over to a PlayStation um, setup. The PlayStation game, Sony PlayStation 1. And then... Try Marvel Super Heroes. PlayStation 2 games will take quite a while to load. Because they've got to extract the game itself. Um, so some games can take a couple of minutes. Some t games can take 10, 15 minutes. Um, some PC games also may take a little longer to load um, than others. And all PC games will exit via the main menu of that game. Um, it will not exit with the side pinball button. Um, so you've got to exit the game like you would a normal PC game, then it'll come straight back to the hyperspin menu. 
So if we move over to the Xbox controllers, press start, go down to faces, and just like a PlayStation controller would be configured or an Xbox controller, you would have for PlayStation that would be X square triangle circle, then you'd have your left L1, L2, L. L1, L2, L, R1, R2, sorry, on, on the controller. So, as you can see, both controllers are config. I'm not going to get too far into it because the batteries aren't great on the camera at the moment, but that's how you would play your PlayStation games. Escape out the system, come out, and then let's quickly um, look into Techno Parrot. Now as long as you plug controller 1 into the first USB port, it is numbered on the controller, plugged into the first USB port on the top, on the back, and then the second controller in the bottom port on the back, and then make sure controller 1 syncs first, then controller 2, don't just go plugging them in randomly, it's best just to let one sync, then the other sync before you load any systems, or anything like that and um, just make sure them controllers are synced properly um, and both lights on the controllers are on so techno parrot games you have um, stuff like Pokémon tournament which will only work with the 360 controllers and um, you have riding and games like that I believe work with the arcade sticks I think one of them works with the controllers and one of them works with the arcade sticks because it was a problem with them um, the mapping on that game um, and the gun games like um, oh, what's it? Sega Golden Gun and um, that will be mouse so get yourself a USB keyboard and mouse you can get wireless ones and I've known of um, some USB keyboard and mice actually messing up the configuration I don't know what that why that is um, but I've had one or two customers use a specific brand of keyboard and mouse. I'll put a link below to a USB wireless keyboard and mouse that I use on one of my other machines that works perfectly fine. Um, so just be careful of different brands of keyboards and that can, for some reason, I don't understand it, that doesn't really make sense, but it, it sometimes resets your hyperspin settings. It is a backup on the drive of um, the hyperspin settings and everything and um, the rocket launcher settings so can be restored um, quite easily but like I said just be cautious of what keyboard and mouse you're plugging in um, I'll get a, I'll send a link to ones I use so then go back let's quickly load because I can't spend too long on this um, quickly load a PC fighting game so let's go down the menus to PC games on the Wii as well on the Wii games and we we Wii U games mainly the Xbox controllers player 1 and player 2 will be player 1 player 2 and then the arcade sticks will be player 3 player 4 and um, that's obviously yet again another analog system but you can play four players likes of Mario Kart with all the two controllers and the two arcade sticks so go back oh we're already back go down to pc games pc fighting games there is pc games there there's cuphead and other games like that um let's load street fighter 5 up some systems may be louder than others and um, some may be quieter you have the volume control straight on the front also comes with a volume control for the amp and um, it has the mp3 plugins and everything um, if the video does cut off I'll just upload it as it is so I might be in the middle of a video and um, this video but that's the basic controls you don't really need to know anything else as long as the controllers are always plugged in and synced and then you've got the systems like the PC games and stuff as well. Um, you can unplug the controllers for the PC systems. Um, if you do experience any cross 
con cross platform issues um, just unplug the controllers and load that game up again and then let's start this load that game up again and then the arcade sticks should be working perfectly as 360 controllers that's in case um, it's recognizing too many Xbox 360 controllers on there but any other systems just keep the controls plugged in at all times unless you're using a mouse or keyboard so then um, like an Xbox 360 controller for PC games you'll have like A, B, X, Y, L, R, left trigger, right trigger so on the likes of Street Fighter 5 it's configured Light punch, medium punch, hard punch, then free punch, light kick, medium kick, hard kick, then free kick. And same goes for player two. Also, on some of the PC games, I've went through all of them, but I'm not sure. I've, I've noticed earlier on I missed one or two that may have not been set to 2K resolution. If it comes up with a message saying it's best to run in 2K resolution, you just quit quit the main menu of the PC game. Go into options, usually located somewhere on the main menu screen. Go into graphic settings and then just change it at 20. 560 1440 this is only for this unit it's not for the customers it's just for